Global Eye is a multi-role airborne warning and control platform from the Swedish defense company Saab. It consists out of a series of sensors using Saab's ERI radar emission system installed on a Bombardier business jet. Saab launched the program in 2016 to install their ERI radar system upon a Bombardier Global 6000, a long-range business jet to produce specialized airborne warning and control or AWACS aircraft. The range of the radar is estimated at around 450 km. In addition, Global Eye is capable of detecting and tracking a combination of both airborne and surface targets, either on land or on sea, while mission times can go up to 11 hours. The manufacturing process involves the delivery of fully complete Global 6000 aircrafts to Saab facility in Linköping, in the south of Sweden. There they will undergo an extensive conversion process from being a business jet to a military aircraft. On the 23rd of February 2018, Saab unveiled the first globalized surveillance aircraft. On the 14th of March of the same year, the first aircraft conducted its maiden flight from Linköping. In January 2019, the second aircraft also performed its first flight, and later that year, Saab stated that it was nearing the end of the testing phase. This meant that the first sales contracts could be negotiated, and the Global Eye received a price tag of around 170 million US dollars. The United Arab Emirates were the first to acquire the Global Eye. The initial contract included a total of three aircrafts. But in 2021, Saab received a request from the UAE for an additional number of two Global Eyes. Sweden obviously also followed and placed an order for a total of two Global Eyes. The contract also holds an option for an additional number of two Global Eyes to be delivered by 2027. It's no big secret that NATO is looking for a replacement for its current aging fleet of E3 Sentry aircrafts. With the Global Eye, Saab hopes to correspond with NATO's needs and make NATO a future operator of the Global Eye. Greece is also a potential future operator of the Global Eye, as they are looking to replace their current AWACS fleet in the upcoming years. The Global Eye program also already experienced a failed bid, as the Finnish government did not continue with their HK fighter jet program, of which the Global Eye was part of. The Global Eye also faces some competition for future programs. One of them is the Embraer R99. This Brazilian aircraft, equipped with Israeli systems, comes at a price tag of around 80 million US dollars. This aircraft is currently operational in Brazil, Greece, Mexico, and India. Another potential competitor is the Casa C-295. The plane, which is built by Airbus, costs around 45 million US dollars. There are a lot of customers for this aircraft, which include Chile, Ireland, Portugal and Spain. Finally, American-built Boeing P-8 Poseidon can also be considered as a competitor for the Global Eye. Although being considered as rather expensive, the P-8 Poseidon is already a great success, with implementations in the air forces of the US, United Kingdom, Australia 
and India. The Global Eye can sure be a valuable asset for many air forces around the world. Which air force do you believe could use the Global Eye? Or are there any other competitors? Share your remarks in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe.